Hi guys. So I tried to do you guys readings a minute ago and shit just went left. So we're going to try it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does, leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. So again, we're going to jump right in all the way from Aries to Pisces. Let's get a message for you guys. I have to reshuffle because clearly the message that I have for Aries, maybe, you know, what is supposed to be said right now. So let's see if something else comes out because it kept fucking up for Aries. It was just like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Okay, you guys. So let's see. Spirit, please give me the energy for Aries. Look, that's crazy. The same card came out again. Okay, so there's a situation that is put on hold, okay? On pause. I feel like it's something that you have to wait for. Maybe a relationship, a specific person, a job, or anything. But it's a wait involved, okay? Let's see. Yeah, this may be somebody... Now the Two of Pentacles is in the upright with the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who's trying to make a decision between you and somebody else. I feel like this person is, um, yeah, this person is deciding to leave. They're letting go of the situation. This person is moving on. Uh, so let's say you've been waiting for someone in particular to step up or be a better person. Chances are this person is not because this person is not only being seduced by somebody else, but they feel like the relationship between you two may have gone stagnant. Okay, you guys? <sighs> Sorry. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's see what we have next. All right, Taurus. So there is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to be um, had here between you and somebody. Ten of Pentacles. It's in regards to something that was long-term, something that you felt like could have been stable, grounded, and committed. Yeah. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it seems to be... Uh, an incomplete cycle between you and somebody, but there's just too much fighting and conflict here. So... You could have been with somebody for a long period of time or seen a long-term um, future with this person. But I feel like right now, this situation has to be talked about because it's getting stagnant because both of you guys are having too many issues. Twin flames, yeah. It's like you guys are are supposed to go through this type of imbalance because this is, this is your person. But there's, there's like hiccups in the roads that you guys have to work out. Twin flames go through a lot of shit, okay? Everybody wants the twin flame and the soulmate connections. Um, they're not fun, okay? And I feel like that's exactly what you're going through or what you're about to go through with somebody, okay? All right, so Gemini, we have soulmate, okay? It says, yes, this is your soulmate, Gemini. The devil card, okay? Could be a Capricorn. The four of swords you guys aren't speaking the chariot okay so i feel like you're trying to move on from somebody because you feel like this person is toxic this person was indeed your soulmate the mask but this person didn't want to show their true feelings to you this person right here <laughs> heavy seducer okay this is the energy of somebody who may have been just a sex-based connection um but this person caught feelings but they didn't like the fact that they caught feelings for you because this person was really truly trying to deem you as just a sex partner and now that they're having feelings for you i feel like this person is running they don't want to tell you how they feel they're afraid that you know you may hurt them this person finds you very attractive and very alluring but this person may also feel like you know they're not enough for you so maybe they feel like you only want them for sex or you know they're not worthy of anything else but sex okay so your soulmate may be you know dealing with some self-esteem issues all right so thank you cancer we have past life relationship you guys have known each other before Ten of Swords, okay, so there's some type of ending. Two of Cups in a relationship that was nurturing. Okay, so you're having to end something. Um, 
But I don't necessarily see you ending this for good. I see you ending this because you're you may be in the middle of something else or trying to go towards something else. Yeah, but you you can't stop thinking about this person. You miss this other person. Hmm. I'm trying not to clarify. I feel like this is a past person that you already left. But I feel like you keep you keep thinking about the connection that y'all had and you're actually wanting to revisit this situation, Cancer. Interesting. But the problem is I feel like you already have somebody else too. So if you do go back to this person, it'd be almost like um it'd be a third party at this point. This person would be a third party because you started something else. You're already in something with this two of cups here. But you're thinking about this relationship with this other person too. Spirit is saying don't revisit the past, okay? All right, Cancer. So, let's get to Leo. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. The Queen of Cups, okay. Emotions. The... I think that's the Knight of Pentacles. And the Hangman. Stagnancy. There's about to be trouble in paradise. Somebody that you've been heavily connected with is about to withdraw. Okay. Yeah. I feel like... um. This could have been somebody with that already withdrew from you, and this person is thinking about you. Um, they still have a lot of love for you, but I feel like right now they needed time away from you, or they had time away from you because maybe this person tried to offer something to somebody else, and now they're missing you. All right. Okay. So, let's see what's going on with my Virgo okay. All right, Virgos, what do we have for you? Romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, who are y'all falling for real quick? Four of Cups, okay. Six of Cups. Oh, so some of you guys are going to revisit an ex. Not the last ex. But another ex. Because it seems to me like you're going through some type of uh, failure or rejection. Or you're rejecting someone already. And now we're having romantic feelings for somebody from our past. We're thinking about this person. We're hopeful that we can have this person back. Yeah. Endings bring new beginnings. So you may be ending something and then you're going to wind up with somebody else. Very fast. It's like a, a quick ass transition period between you and this person. Well, these people. Because there's definitely more than one person here, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying this way of reading out. It seems a little less messy, but it's time consuming. All right, so Libra, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. So you're single, bored as fuck, okay? Wanting some type of connection with somebody. Like, y'all so bored, y'all are going to talk to the fucking squirrel, okay? Five of Swords. But I feel like you're tired of fighting for somebody's love and affection. Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody that you may have been going back and forth for, for a while. You're like, I'm not going through this shit with you no more, okay? The the relationship may have been moving at a stale pace. Yeah, King's on a ring. You're, you're ready to get back out there now. I don't even feel like you want anything, like, serious anymore. This is you just, like, I'm going to get out here and just fucking date. Spirit is saying do what's best for you, but don't create karma because you're hurt. Because this may be a, also an energy of you looking for something because something didn't work out for you, okay? All right. Thank you, Libra. Scorpio. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. True love. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. We have the Queen of Pentacles, okay. The Knight of Chalices. Oh, shit. 
I wasn't supposed to pull that. Two of Swords and the Devil. Whoa. So there's two people here. I feel like um, it could be one Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, somebody that you've been here, been with for a while. Um, or this person could just be somebody very stable in your life. And then you have someone else here. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You're needing to make a decision about this, but one of these people has never been good for you. And you know that. But I feel like this person is extremely enticing. Yeah, hammer. It's like choosing the wrong person. This person that's toxic for you could be very self-sabotaging. And I feel like that's something that you need to work on because this person may be extremely persistent in trying to win you back. Coming in as the Knight of Chalices, well, the Knight of Cups. But this is not the best of person to be with. And you know that. All right. So, thank you, guys. So, Sagi Wagis, we have Free Yourself. It says, it's time to take back control of your love life. We have the Justice card. There we go. You, so, you're making a head over heart decision about starting something new and passionate after being heartbroken. So, we're willing to take this leap of faith towards something else. We're ready to get back out there and try it again. And I feel like this is something that may have taken a while for you to do. Because perhaps with the person that you were with, you kept trying to go with how you felt about this person. And not rather what the fuck it really was. You know, you weren't thinking with your head. Now you're thinking with your fucking head though. Yeah, look at you. Not today. All right, Sagittarius, y'all have been in this er in this energy of don't fucking bullshit me for the past couple of days now. You're sick and tired of being sick and fucking tired. And I feel like you're avoiding somebody because you're very upset with how they treat you and you're not dealing with that shit anymore. All right, Sagittarius said, bitch, don't do it again. I'm done. That's it. That was your last try. All right, Sagittarius taking control back. But look at y'all. All right, Capricorn, we have let your friends help you. It says ask and su accept support from others. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, somebody coming in with a message about wanting to work things out with you, be somebody solid, stable, and committed in your life at the period of playing with your fucking head. So could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Definitely I have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, someone who may have been acting very childish, someone who can actually literally be younger than you, um, is coming in to try to fix things, but be careful because I don't see this being the best of energy. This is somebody who may still be coming off as deceptive. I mean, shit, they may actually be deceptive. Yeah, this is somebody who's only chasing after you because they realize that you're leaving. All right, this is not somebody who has the best intentions and your friends may, you know, know that and be telling you that. But, you know, sometimes we get so happy to hear from this person or we be so happy that this person is actually showing that they care. We take them back, not knowing that they're trying to manipulate us because they don't want to they don't quite want to commit, but they don't want to, you know, leave either or have us leave them. Keeping you, giving you just enough bread crumbing you. Don't let that person do that to you. Okay. Aquarius, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have the two of wands. You at a crossroads, needing to make an informed decision about a person, a place, or a thing. Queen of Chalices, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, somebody who is extremely emotional. Two of Cups. I feel like this is a relationship with somebody, could definitely be a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio, that you're needing to make an informed decision about because the relationship is not the same. All right. I feel like somebody here is putting in way too much effort and the other person is not. Somebody just isn't feeling it no more. Okay. Yeah. Separation. I feel like both of you guys are sad about this, but and not really knowing, you know, what the future holds. But at the end of the day, you need to decide what's best for you, Aquarius. Okay. Okay, so last but never the least, we have Pisces. And it is religious factors. It says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We have the Seven of Wands. 
the strength card in reverse and the world card okay so you're having to defend a situation, a new start, something that you really wanted, something that could have came into fruition out of nowhere that you're really happy about. But it seems to me like it's a bit, you don't know how to really deal with this. You're trying your best to deal with this, but you don't know how. Wedding rings. I feel like you're going to have to figure it out because this is somebody who you could potentially wind up spending the rest of your life with. It may be hard for you to transition if you've been single for a while, getting into a relationship or leaving someone from the past to start something new with somebody else. But you better get to it because you don't want to miss out on this opportunity, Pisces. Okay, so that concludes the reading. Thank you guys so much. Tell me how you like this one. If you don't like it, also let me know so I can go back to my old way, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys.